Hello everyone and welcome to another episode on Film Sandwich. I am Kid Ron Burgundy and today we are going to be doing a beginner's tutorial on multicam editing in Premiere Pro. Now this is not for the advanced users, so if you're advanced looking for more advanced stuff, um, this isn't the video for you. Um, but if you're a beginner user, this is perfect for you. I'm going to show you how I do my multicam editing um, in Premiere Pro. It may not be exactly the steps as everybody else does, but it really works for me and it goes pretty fast. So let's go ahead and dive right in. All right, so we're here. Uh, I have Premiere Pro open. I have my cameras all loaded here. Uh, one, two, three. So I'm gonna just pull camera one over and create a new project or a sequence. And these are video clips from one of my other YouTube channels called Follow Me For More Recipes. It is a YouTube channel that I uh, do with my daughters. And um, yeah, we make all kinds of weird meme inspired cuisine. Um, and if you wanna know what that means, then go ahead and check out the link right over here and it'll take you to that channel and you can check out all of our wonderful videos. We don't have a whole lot up right now, but we are working on it. Uh, so please check us out, give us a like, subscribe and all that. Back to the editing, I've pulled the first camera in, I'm going to pull the second camera in, and I'm going to pull the third camera in, just one right on top of each other right here in the timeline. I'm going to pull these over, and now you have um, three cameras here, they all need to be synchronized, all the audio and video needs to be synchronized so they are uh, in line with each other, and Premiere Pro makes that super easy. All you have to do is go over here, highlight all of your clips, right click and choose synchronize and then it'll ask you hey where do you want to do this from the start of the clip the end of the clip by a certain time code or if you want to do it by the audio in track one two or the mix down track we're going to do a uh, track one clicking ok it does a bit of processing here and bam just like that your clips are synchronized so you can hear all of the audio coming together. It may not be 100%, but it's pretty close. And then you can just go ahead and mute the audio that you do not need. I am going to add a little bit of noise reduction um, because we had some air conditioning noise in there. So you just go over here to the denoise and you can just drop that right on your audio, bam. And now we're going to come over here and we're going to just trim these clips so they're all the same length. Just like that. All right. So now you have all three of your cameras synchronized and it's showing just the top down view of uh, the third camera here. Um, but I don't see all the cameras. So what do we do next? So what we got to do is highlight all three of those cameras, right click, then choose nest. Like a bird, you gotta build a nest over here. Uh, you can call this whatever you want. We're gonna call it multicam test, right? Um, there we go, and then there we go. It took all three of those uh, clips and turned it into one clip here, which is kind of confusing. All I see is the top down shot here. Uh, so there's another step you have to do right click on the one clip, go to multi-camera, click enable. And now we see camera A, the, the camera number one. So, but we still don't see all three cameras. So there's one more step that we need to do. And that's to come over here and click on this toggle multi-camera view. Now, if that's not there, you can click on this little plus sign here and you can find toggle multi-camera view and you just click and drag it right down into there and click okay. So we're gonna click toggle multicam view and look at that. We see all of our cameras right there and then we see the program out view right there. So if we were to say, let's go to the beginning, well, right there. And if we were to click here, that would be what we see in the view. Every camera you click, you'll see in the program view, all right? So what we're gonna do is, I'm not gonna edit this project fully because that would take a lot of time. What I'm gonna do is just show you guys like exactly what you have to do to get this going. Alrighty, so now that we have all of our cameras uh, in the multicam view here, 
we're just gonna hit play, right? So now we are playing our video and then as the video plays, you can just, um, you know, click over to this camera and then you can go, oh, back to that camera. And you wanna just keep going. You can go, oh, I'm not, like I said, editing this correctly. I'm just showing you guys how the multicam view works here. So you just, you know, depending on what shot you wanna see here, oh, like, oh, I'm talking about the uh, pepperoni here. So we'll do the top down shot. We can do this shot here to show the sprinkles. And then, yep, we'll just stay right there to show the other sprinkles. And then we can come back to our A camera. And if you hit stop and you zoom in here, you can see that every time that you clicked one of these cameras here, it made a cut. So right here, oh, it changed over to that. And then it went back to there. And then now it's down here, right? And now let's say that you made a mistake. You cut too early or you cut too late, or you didn't even want to go to that particular camera at that time. So what's great about this is like say, oh, you know, I'm over, I'm over here. And then at that point it went there. Let's see, let's do a different one here. Uh, we'll say over here, we wanted to cut to something else here. So you can do your cut there and you can go, I wanted it to be that shot. So now, not only have you changed what happened in the middle of that cut, you made another cut and changed the shot. Now let's say this shot here, you didn't want that, you wanted it to be this shot. Click there and it just automatically changes to that shot that you just clicked on. So that's pretty nifty. Now let's say you went too early, you wanted the cut to go a little later so you can pull that guy over like that and then pull this one over like that and now you've changed the timing of your cut to be different. So if you make any mistakes in this, it's really easy to just go back and make a couple adjustments and uh, you're, you're off and running the rest of your project. Now let's say that you wanted to do any kind of effects or color correction to the individual cameras themselves. Well, what's good about that is that you can come over here to the multicam test sequence, double click on there, and then it'll bring up your multicam test sequence with all three cameras uncut in that sequence. So now we'll, we'll untoggle the multi-camera view. So now if you click your little eyeballs there, you can you know see those different cameras. So now let's say, oh, I wanted to do a little bit of color correction or color grading to this particular clip. So we're gonna go here, Lumetri color, put that right there pull that stuff over so I can see it. I'm working on a tiny little laptop screen here, so bear with me. Um, and then we're gonna go basic color correction. We'll bring up some of the whites there. We'll bring down some of the highlights, bring up some of the shadow a little bit, give it a little contrast, give it a little bit of uh, saturation. And then we just made a change here. Now that's not a drastic change. So on the other camera view, we're gonna just change that to like black and white. So when I go back to the main timeline, you'll be able to see the changing happening. So we're gonna just desaturate that guy. Now it's just black and white. And then this guy here, we'll do a little bit something more extreme. We'll just get uh, extreme on the color and the sharpening, well, maybe not the sharpening. A little bit on the vibrance, a little bit more on the saturation, just so you guys can see the difference here. Obviously, you wouldn't do this in real life unless you were just crazy and maybe you were just very artistic, but anyways. So you can see here now that I've made those changes to those individual clips in the other sequence, you can see here now that they're changed here. And you don't have to go to every cut and add your color correction, which is a big time saver. So now, you know, we're just gonna go through here and you can even do this. You can go and just make some cuts throughout here. And then you can go, oh, I want, toggle that again, I want that to be this camera. And then you'll come over here and you want, I want that one to be this camera. In case you, I already know where you want your cuts to be for each camera, that camera. 
So now you see these changes here. That is how easy multicam editing is in Adobe Premiere Pro 2021. All right, and then when you're done, you know, you just put your in and out points there, just like you would any file. Hit the export. And we're just gonna send that right there. And all that looks okay. And I'm just gonna click the export button. And there you go, you're exporting. That is the easiest multicam setup I've ever done. I mean, I've done it for a while. I did it in uh, Sony Vegas before. And, uh, you know, it was really hard because whenever you wanted to add color correction or anything, you had to go to all the individual clips for some weird reason. Even in Premiere Pro, if you would add it to your sequence, uh, the, main, the, the sequence that has all your clips, for some reason, it just wouldn't translate to the main sequence that you have all your cuts in. So anyways, it's gotten a lot easier. I love multicam editing. I do it all the time for my wedding videos. Um, I'm usually shooting three cameras. So it really helps me out. I wanna thank you for watching. Uh, please go ahead, if you like this video, click the like button, give it a share. Um, and if you really like what you see here on the channel, go ahead and give us a subscribe and click the notification bell so you're always alerted to all the new videos that we have. Thanks again for watching and have a great day.